uh, today we are going to perform these four different attacks uh, these first two attacks uh, will be uh, will specifically target the vulnerabilities uh, present in the XP system and these other two attacks can be used in the system other than XP uh, so I am going to um, uh, perform these attacks on my two uh, XP system in uh, my virtual environment uh, this is Windows XP with service pack 2 with this IP address and this is Windows XP uh, with service pack 3 of this IP address uh, I have already made uh, vulnerability scanning of this system with fine uh, with uh, using Nessus so these are my two system and you can see uh, different uh, uh, weakness in this system are listed as per their criticality this one is high and this one is medium so the first one here is SMB and for my other system the critical is also SMB now I'm going to use my uh, Kali virtual machine to perform this first attack SMB so I'm using here meta exploit So our host is my target machine and this IP address is this oh okay it's thirteen okay so I should have used this one our host and this one is the IP address of my host system as you can see from here now okay as you can see we have access to the system we can check uh, we can check this by uh, uh, let's say if an attacker wants to exploit uh, upload uh, any malicious file in this system all he has to do is so we are going to put this uh, uh, malware in this system so now so yes uh, as you can see the file has been uploaded here so uh, this is the this is the same uh, vulnerability that uh, that was used while uh, uploading the ransomware malware in the different XP system uh, so Mm, uh, so the best uh, way to defend this kind of attack is to up, uh, to patch your XP system uh, or to upgrade uh, with another more uh, safe operating system now we are going to do perform a uh, second attack uh, uh, this attack is uh, possible in previous version of uh, Windows XP uh, where there is an inherent design flaw in Internet Explorer 6 and 8 so this attack is a kind of a denial of service attack uh, by which a perpetrator can gain access to the system so for this attack I'm going to use uh, Ubuntu where I'm running meta exploit and let's enlarge this this is the XP system which I'm going to target now So the L host will be the IP of this uh, host system, which is okay. now what we need to do is copy this link and paste here. okay as you can see now we have system access let's open our session okay now let's run BNC uh, it will take some time okay 
so we have the BNC session now let's do some interesting okay so we can see that our BNC is running now we can close BNC and if we want to shut down this system all we have to do is by using this command okay as you can see the target system has been shut down okay D uh, now it is time for our third attack man in the ma middle attack uh, so uh, this uh, attack uh, especially exploit the weakness of uh, HTTP protocol where uh, attacker can uh, sit in middle and listen the conversation of target and the server uh, I'm going to use this attack to show how it is uh, easy to obtain uh, anybody Facebook username and password uh, while uh, using the web browser using HTTP protocol so uh, if we look at our Windows 7 and the the this explorer is actually IE 11 so whenever we uh, log into Facebook it uh, automatically uh, use this protocol HTTPS however if we use uh, to log in uh, Facebook in XP it will uh, so uh, it will uh, use this HTTP HTTP protocol so now I'm going to use uh, this attack uh, using my Kali system so this is the IP address of our target system and this one is the gateway now uh, all the all is needed for target to uh, login and in f in his Facebook account so so I'm going to log in with this uh, fake Gmail ID okay so I will give some random password now let's log in let's see uh, what it uh, what happens in our Kali system we have to dump log data so so as you can see here is the username and here is the password and this is the site so in this way uh, man in the middle attack can be performed so the best way to defend from this uh, this kind of attack is to upgrade your browser mm, so uh, you
uh, you should uh, discard using internal uh, internal explorer 6 or 8 and move on to uh, maybe chrome or internal explorer 11 and also you have to take care while entering uh, different uh, sensitive uh, credential uh, for example for your bank uh, login and password so you should always uh, always take care what protocol you are using and it uh, what uh, happens usually is that uh, different kind of phishing attack is done using this uh, uh, unsecured protocol we have come to our final attack uh, which is trojan so what uh, usually happens uh, at, uh, during web internet surfing is that uh, uh, we find some uh, website very interesting and while clicking uh, through different links uh, these uh, some of these website want uh, wants us to download uh, some file and which we usually do and sometimes this file may contain Trojan hosts uh, which uh, which opens a backdoor in a, in your system and gives access to perpetrator uh, to that system so let's do that so this is uh, actually a script of creating exe file uh, for creating backdoor ok uh, this is the exe file which has been uh, which has been created by this script uh, it usually takes some time okay now we are going to run this command okay we are going to copy this exe file to our web hosting so cp okay we have copied this copied this file now in the target system all the ta uh, target has to uh, do is to go to our site and download this file so in order to save uh, some time I have uh, written this file name which is actually a very long so test when that target runs this program ok we have access to the system so let's open our session here we can see we have a complete access to our target system so to summarize this in order to prevent from this attack uh, you need to upgrade your operating system however you can use patch version of uh, XP but uh, I would not recommend that because it is uh, only a temporary fix and to prevent from this attack you have to move to more secure browser and to uh, safeguard yourself from this attack you need to have a antivirus good one uh, installed in your system finally please visit my website kirankumarsa.com.np for more articles and information and also feel uh, free to make any comments and if you found this uh, video useful please do share uh, I think that there are other people who can benefit from uh, this video uh, thank you all for watching